right? This is what we have. And it should sit on the other side. So how can we do that? Well, um, it's a little bit uh, advanced perhaps, right? So this, this uh, div here is spanning the entire width here actually. And then we have the UL sitting in there. So we wanna, what we can do here is we can, we can add margin on the left side here and we can use margin auto because it's actually a flex container, right? So this is why it's important that you understand the underlying fundamentals because sometimes, well, you need to understand Flexbox here, for example, because what you can do in a flex container like that is you can use margin auto, which will uh, push itself all the way to the other side. So I can say margin start. So here, uh, Bootstrap is not using margin left. It's using margin start, which is a little bit confusing, but the reason for this is uh, that some languages, they start from the right, right? So you reach right to left. So from their perspective, it's the it's margin right. So we cannot say margin left because for some languages, it's not gonna be correct. So instead you have margin start as an abstraction, margin start and margin end, right? So margin start auto, which will create as much mar uh, margin as possible here, which will push it all the way here. Right? So make sure you understand Flexbox. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.